I'm Jessica Cartaglia with your evening digital news brief for Tuesday, April 2nd. Smoking, vaping, and chew will soon be banned on Temple's campus. Today, university officials announced the school is going tobacco-free. A recent report from the College of Public Health recommended Temple join the growing number of schools banning the products. The ban launches July 1st and will be fully implemented by the start of the 2019 fall semester. A vigil will be held tonight in South Jersey in honor of 21-year-old Samantha Josephson. The University of South Carolina college student was killed by a stranger after mistaking his car for an Uber ride. Police have arrested the alleged driver, Nathaniel Rowland. Tonight's vigil is taking place in Josephson's hometown of Robbinsville at the West Town Center at Lake Gazebo at 7 o'clock. Her funeral is tomorrow. A reward for information leading to the arrest of Nick Flacco's killer is growing. Donors have given an additional $1,500 for the reward. It now stands at $36,500. Police say Flacco was gunned down in FDR Park in South Philadelphia Saturday night after a dare. His funeral is scheduled for Thursday at St. Albert the Great in Huntington Valley. Four people are now facing charges after a fight inside an Atlantic City McDonald's over the weekend. 21-year-old Marcus, along with three 17-year-old girls, are facing a number of charges, including assault. Police say one teen assaulted an employee, another pepper sprayed a security guard's face. All four allegedly damaged McDonald's property. Remember, you can always get the latest on these stories and more right here on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the Evening Digital Brief. I'm Jessica Cartalia.